and participatory. But you know, this present government two times, in 2014, even 2018, two elections were much more controversial. Even in 2014, the most oppo opposition, main opposition party of the parliament, BNP, boycotted the election because they were confused or they demanded a fair election through a caretaker government. But in 2019, they participated in the election to observe the promise what actually were given by the Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. She, is, she will hold a free fair election, but they, she didn't do this. Even the vote was rigged before the day at the night time, all of you know. So now the next election, all the opposition parties are actually demanding the election should be under a neutral caretaker government. But this government is not agree on this issue because they know if a prepared election held, then they will lose the power. So now actually if the situation is in favor of caretaker government, so Dr. Yunus is a, you can say, accepted figure. And you can, uh, all of we know that he is more connected with the world leaders. So in this economic, political world crisis, Dr. Yunus can play an important role to reform our country. That's why I think this authority and government targeted him and criticizing him, even harassing through a judicial process. So that's why we gather here to show our solidarity with Professor Muhammad Yunus. Atukun Amadi Kane Jarai Bokto Burekeche, Amadir Ainzibi, Shushil Shamajer Protinidi, Nagurik Bindu Tadeke Amra Donova